Hey, I'm Doug Hudson, the founder of Feedback Sports, and we're here at Jingle Cross in Iowa, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the history of the company. I've been racing for, for quite a few years. I started in cross-country mountain biking, um, and then, i say the last 10 years, really been focused on cross. Um, so we got, we're, we're going to attempt to do three races this weekend. And uh, we also have our team, so we've got a a team in Colorado with about 35 racers, 20 to 25 are cross. Uh, we have some other, uh, we also do mountain bike, uh, but our focus on the team is really cross. So it's cool that we got 10 or 12 of us here this weekend. It's uh, definitely an advantage to be uh, out here using the equipment, actually participating in the sport. It really allows you to, to know what you need. So uh, we make products that we want to use, and I think so far it's worked. You know, uh, some some business gurus say don't make products just for yourself, but in this case, pretty much every product is for us, and it's 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 wor it's working. So uh, I think that's a part of what makes it fun. And and uh, if you walk around here, you'll see quite a bit of our products. And I think it's because it worked. It, it just works well, and, and uh, um, people appreciate that. The thing that, that I think just seeing the um, the elite level cyclist using the product. I mean, when I developed that scale, I didn't think it. I'd see riders at, in the Tour de France or teams at the Tour de France using our product. I mean, uh, last weekend, Wout Van Aert was warming up on this trainer. Matthew Vanderpoel uses this trainer, Sonicon. It, the, name, the list is, is pretty long. Uh, so I think, to me, as a, a race fan, that's the coolest part uh, of what's happened over the, the past years. A bunch of the races. I went to Peru Roubaix this this uh, spring and uh, been to a few of the world uh, championships, cyclocross championships. So that's that's a, a cool uh, side to, to being in this business. We have to work. We work. We work hard. It's a, it's uh, you know it's fun, but. Yeah, you gotta you gotta get out there. We it in the past uh, ten days, I guess I, I've done three days at Interbike. We raced Reno Cross. We went to directly to Madison and did the Trek Cup there, which we also set up, um, and then went to the office on Monday. Worked till yesterday afternoon, and, and luckily got to fly out here last night. Here we go. We're going to be working and racing through the weekend. So it's 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 a uh, it takes the work. You got to put in the work too. <laughs> for sure, for sure. A lot of people don't know this, but the first product was actually this scale. So I I developed this in in 2004, and it's it's um, a scale that was specifically made to weigh bikes. <laughs> Um, so of course it's like one of the number one questions with your bike: uh, how much does that weigh? And this was the first one on the market to uh, to actually clamp into a work stand. You end up using this quite a bit more than you expect um, because of the because weight is such an important important factor in racing. Um, and early on in 2004 when I developed this, I met up with the guys from Ultimate Support and they were making a work stand and they really liked this because it clamped into the stand that we're making. Uh, they were making so we started working together and then in 2008 um, Feedback Sports, we bought their bike division so that got us into the work stand business. So this stand is super cool. People know it for the quick release clamp. And in the mountain bike cyclocross scene, you'll see a lot of these. 
but uh, one thing that we didn't have was anything sort of in the road, the uh, road racing scene. So we developed this fork mount stand, and this stand is um, quite popular in Europe and mostly with road teams. So now there's three World Tour teams using feedback sports, uh, Lotto Sedal, Quick Step, and Trek Segafredo. So it was really us developing this stand that got us to, to that level. So now here in the, in the cross scene, you'll see both. Uh, I, I sort of prefer this one for washing bikes because um, it seems simple, but the thing that the mechanics like is that they can spin the bike without moving. So when you're washing or clicking through the gears, you don't have to, to walk around the bike. There was, uh, this style stand was, was, as I said, popular in Europe, but um, I think we kind of took, you know, we didn't uh, cut any corners in the design of it, and uh, so that's why uh, a lot of people are um, approaching us to, to, to buy this or, or, or use it because it, I think the quality level is higher than, than what was out there at the, at the time. We sort of have this uh, race day essential theme with all of our products. So they all are portable, fold up small, they're light. So, you know, when you're at a race like this, you may pretty much going to have to work on your bike at some point this weekend, especially with the weather. So you need a work stand, but you need it to be portable, um, which is what we make. Uh, we also have tools, as you saw here, and the idea behind this was also to be portable. So you can fold this, it folds into a, um, a nice briefcase, so easy to throw in the back of the, of the car and, and get to the race. One of my favorite products that we made recently is a portable trainer. So this thing allows you to show up at the race with that small tote bag and pop this open in about 30 seconds and be, be on it. So, you know, we, I used to go to cross races and try to figure out where in the local roads or in the parking lot I was going to warm up. I don't have to think about that now. I just literally put this thing here. Like so. And this um, system, you can use a quick release. 15 millimeter um, standard 100 or boost or 12 millimeter and all the adapters come in the box. So you set that there. Set the wheelbase. And yeah, you're ready. This is a, a new uh, torque wrench that um, it's a, what's cool is it's actually a ratchet. So you can tighten or loosen without engaging the torque mechanism. So say you're working on tightening your stem or your seat post. Seven. Uh, what do we got here? Okay. So I'm tightening. And then as soon as I want to engage the torque, I push on this section. So you can see the dial going up. And what's it at there? Four. Four. What do you need? Seven. Seven, okay. Is that, uh, that looks like seven. There you go. So that also fits into our small, affordable, you're traveling. This is a pretty sweet way to, to, to get your bike ready for, for the race. Yeah, there's 14, 14 bits, including a couple long ones here if you've got to put on your rear derailleur. 
some of those are recessed. So we've got the long bits, bits for Shimano and SRAM there. So yeah, we're excited about this. Actually, it just became available this week. Oh, yeah. brand new. We, we, yeah, we showed brand it new. at, at uh, Eurobike and Interbike and started to ship, ship it this week. Oh, very cool. Hot off the presses right there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's yep. one more product that, uh, you know, we're talking about what you need for a race day. Um, there's one other product we can walk back here yep. and I'll, I'll show you. So this product, yeah, we call the A-Frame. And it's also light, folds up quickly. It's all aluminum, so it weighs about 17 pounds. Uh, it comes with a, a tote bag. So once again, if you want your race team to look professional, you need to get the bikes bikes in order and uh, this product can really help you to, to do that. Also if you walk around you'll see, you'll see quite a few of these uh, with, with the teams. So yeah the course is, uh, I, I think it's opening up in 20 minutes for preview so go see what it's, see what Iowa's all about. <laughs> and uh, that's the, the uh, humble origins of feedback sports. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 the question is where do you <laughs> 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 <laughs>